Okay, well I have a, a couple things to show in my mail today. Um, and a card shop recap. Unfortunately I dropped a lot of cards underneath the seat of the car and that is never good for corners at cards. Um, what came in the mail was uh, no autographs, no baseball card things. I just picked up MacGyver Season 2. Uh, it's been out forever and a day, but you know, I like the smaller, smaller bundles than the whole season at once. The case is pretty cheesy for the for the large uh, complete set so I like getting them one by one and and uh, so there's that one that was really cheap it's like six seven bucks used or something nothing major uh, I picked up this cool thing here I actually have both of these on another soundtrack but TV Tunes presents NBC a soundtrack of must see TV and it's pretty cool it's got like the Seinfeld Cheers Golden Girls Night Court uh, Will and Grace theme songs Banana Splits you know Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color all kinds of cool stuff Howdy Doody a lot of these were on another soundtrack but there was just enough that were not on that other one I believe so this is kinda cool I paid a dollar for this one uh, maybe it was more it was maybe dollar twenty nine I don't remember exactly but something like that then I found this cool uh, DVD the vintage art series of Tony Randall Burl Ives and Barbara Eden called the Brass Bottle and it features the luscious Lulu Porter International Dancing Star. So there's that, the slip cover here, called the Brass Bottle. And there's the jewel case right there. And there's the back of it. It's got some Canadian stuff there. I don't know what that's all about there. And then, of course, the disc is in there. And I think it's in good condition. I forgot to check, and it looks like it was only played once, so that's good. Um, so there's that. And that was, I think, two and a half dollars, something like that, used. And now for the cards, the card shop. He didn't have change for my $20 bill. I had just gotten there when he had opened. So he just gave everything that I bought for $12 to me for 9 because I had 9 ones. Um, the first thing I picked up was this uh, Pinnacle Joe DiMaggio exclusive 30 card set. One of 200,000 sets, so it's uh, uh, pretty rare out there. I think this is a metal tin right here uh, made by Pinnacle and probably uh, 1993. So that's when I was uh, graduating from high school. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, he had a uh, 1987 hand collated top set, which I almost picked up for six bucks. Uh, most of his little boxes and card boxes were six bucks, so can't beat that. Now we'll get into the dollar cards and the 25 cent cards. Most of these survived. Uh, here's a Fleer 94, number 48 of 50, Ryan Sandberg. Uh, it's not number to 50, it's just card number 48. So I thought that was kind of a nice one, which I might mail out one of these days. I still haven't gotten around to mailing him out. I got this Barry Bonds Ionix from I don't remember when, but I'm sure that people in the feedback or whatever will... It looks like he's got one leg there, the one leg variation variant. And then I know uh, I've got several p collectors that collect... Uh, uh, Matt Ryan, I got this Matt Ryan Air Marshals die cut. These were the quarter cards, so there's that one. I got a Greg Craig Morton, which I think I needed for the set, but I didn't realize at the bottom there somebody had taken some scissors to and nipped it there, so I think that I'll just keep that until I get a better one. Uh, this was a Kurt Warner, which I think I might have slightly dented, uh, number 301 to 999. It just takes one penny sleeve for the cards to slide you know, slip out in the middle and then crash on the floor. Uh, Kurt Warner to 999, Leaf Certified 2015. I think it says 2015. But why does it say 19? Oh, whatever. I'm not sure about that one. I got a Ichiro regular card from 2017. It's not perfect, but you know, it's just for my set. I don't think I have it. This one unfortunately got damaged. Um, it's got a really weird serial number there. I think they were all different. It's just shining through Greg Maddox Power Up. I don't know how rare those are, if they're valuable or not, but again, for a quarter. And I may not have done that. That corner damage might have already been there. I don't know who Brad Kaya is, um, but I just collect quarterbacks I've never heard of. Panini Contenders, uh, 2017. I'm not familiar with a lot of football, and again, I did in the corner there on that one, but again, that's not a valuable card at all. It's just a common. I got a Yulieski Guriel, Yuli, whatever you call him, Topps Holiday 2017. There's that one that just says Holiday in the corner right there. I think that's one of the only differences. And then I got the other regular one here, um, rookie card there again, and he had mountains of those. Uh, I got another Ichiro. Uh, for the collection. 
And then I got a uh, Michael Jordan because I was short by one card, so I grabbed another one. And I found a penny sleeve on the table, so I stuck that another cut above Michael Jordan. And then I got uh, this uh, Larry Bird card, which I think I needed for my set. I'm collecting all the inserts for this 91, 92, or 90, 92, 93. I can never remember. It says 93, so it's probably 92, 93. There was probably about 200 insert cards from that set. It was just so massive. And then I got Ahmad Rashad on the Vikings from 77, 79, I think. 79. That was a quarter. And I got a Yaziel Puig chrome. Um, it looked like it was damaged, but I think that's in the print there. And then I got two cards for a dollar. I got this Bryce Harper Topps Finest from, I don't know when, 2014. I don't know if that has any value or not. Ooh, hold on to it so you can see it a little longer there. I'm probably zooming the cards away. And I got this authentic game-worn jersey, Manny Ramirez of the Boston Red Sox, pristine borders, Dominican Republic. Tiny little jersey swatch there, very small. Um, and this is from 20, 2003. So I thought that was kind of cool for a dollar. I just don't pick up jersey cards unless they're practically free, and a dollar is pretty darn close. So that's what I've got, and I think there's nothing else to really show. Um, I don't know if I'm going to open up the DiMaggio set or not. Uh, so just let me know if you want me to or not. I don't. I don't really care to. It's just something I was just helping him out, and he helped me out, so it all worked out. Anyway, uh, that's what I've got for you, and thank you for watching.